So the Philadelphia Eagles are 3-8-1. We got four games remaining. Who will be the starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles? What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. If you are new to the channel and love talking Philly sports every single day, the good, the bad, the benching, go right ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on post notifications so you know when I go live or drop some content. We gonna be doing a call in, if not today, later in the day, definitely on Tuesday, we gonna do a call in. I got to know what you guys think about this, but you can also leave it down in the comment section. So make sure you turn on post notifications. But yes, the benching happened midway of the third quarter. Jalen Hurts comes in for Carson Wentz. I don't know if you guys agree with it or disagree with it, but we cannot deny that this team changed once Jalen Hurts got in. A spark happened. A spark happened. So we're going to talk about all that stuff and much more. Monday reaction. Make sure you smash that like button and let's jump into this. So like I said, the Eagles fall to the Green Bay Packers. The Packers are now 9 and 3. The Eagles, like I said, are 3 8 and 1. We lose 30 to 16, but at one point of this game, it was 23 to 16, and I just felt if the defense can get the ball back for Jalen Hurts, Something nice might happen. Something nice might happen. But then you had Aaron Jones rip off a 77-yard run on this defense right through the heart of this defense, which really put the game out of reach. Jalen Hurts did get the ball again. He threw a pick. Bad play. It is what it is, though. So Carson Wentz gets benched. Let's just go over the stats real quick. Carson Wentz was 6 of 15 for 79 yards. Average 5.3 yards per pass, a rating of 57.4. Jalen Hurts, 5 of 12. Oh, by the way, Carson had zero touchdowns but zero interceptions. Jalen Hurts, 5 of 12, 109 yards, 9.1 yards per pass, a touchdown, an interception, and a 67.7 rating. So again, not great, but better than Carson at this point. Now let me say this. The team looked the offensive line looked the same. Jalen Hurts was able to convert on some first downs because of his legs. And that's another reason why you might have to leave Jalen Hurts in for the simple fact he can hide the deficiencies in this offensive line better. On that touchdown pass, the pocket broke. He got out of the pocket, but what he did was keep his eyes down the field. He climbed up on the side of the pocket and threw a strike to Greg Ward Jr., a beautiful ball over Green Bay Packers defender. Fit it in there. Nice touch on it. And again, he wanted to run because he had to, but he kept his eyes downfield. Now, the other times he took off, he had to. There were times he took off and only got back to the line of scrimmage. But if that's Carson Wentz, it might be a sack. So, I mean, this team, whoever's playing quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles ain't blessed with with the Colts offensive line. Like old man Phillip Rivers can sit back there, have a cup of coffee, and throw the ball. Phillip Rivers has only been sacked 15 times. Carson Wentz in the last two games probably been sacked 15 times. And would have if he played his whole game, probably. Listen, this team, all 52 players on this roster... All 11 on offense responded differently. The defense responded pretty good, except for that last horrible gashing, 77 yards up the middle. Nobody can tackle. But you got to understand, Jalen Hurts comes in, everything chases. Jalen Rager catches a nice pass, a pass that he had no hesitation on. Not too much separation, but Jalen Rager caught the ball, and Jalen Hurts fit it in there. And Jalen Hurts didn't do nothing physically on that Jalen Reger punt return, but do you see the energy that was brought? Jalen Hurts comes in, we score a touchdown, defense gets a three and out, and then the punt gets returned. We finally get contribution from our special team, and again, Jalen Hurts physically didn't do nothing to make Jalen Reger did that, but the team responded. The team responded to the spark that was created 
when Jalen Hurts got in the game. Now, again, 23-16, I thought if the defense got the ball back for Jalen Hurts, he would be able to get it done, but it didn't happen. We still ultimately lost this game 30-16, to four straight losses, quarterback controversy, and who knows where we're going to go from here. I got to say this. I heard Doug Peterson early in the morning today on a WIP or whatever it was, and he didn't say Carson Wentz is starting. He didn't say Jalen Hurts is starting. He left the door wide open. So we have a full-blown quarterback controversy. Now, there's some people who think Carson Wentz is still start. There's a lot of people from just the live streams and the play-by-plays who say you got to let Jalen Hurt start. You got to. You got the Jalen Hurt fans. You got the Carson Wentz haters. And you got the people like me who just say, you got to play Jalen Hurts. How can you go into that locker room and see the spark, see Jalen Rager, see the defense, see the offense, see everybody who stepped up in this game and showed signs of the change in a positive way? How can you go to them and say, well, we tried. We going back to Carson. Listen, Carson Wentz is getting paid a lot of money, and he's probably going to be the quarterback in 2021. I mean, if Jalen Hurts comes out and shows a lot, well, then you got to let it be a quarterback competition in the offseason. You can't just announce anybody as the quarterback in the offseason without a competition. However, Carson Wentz needs some time to regroup. He's not going nowhere. If we try to cut Carson Wentz this offseason, it's a $60 million hit. I think the next season, it's a $40 million hit. Don't quote me, but I believe so. Even if we trade him, even if we could find a trade partner, I think we're still going to have to eventually eat about 28 or $30 million of dead money. I mean, you could make that work, though, over a span of time. But listen, this football team is much more than a quarterback away from competing. We still got problems with our GM, our head coach, coaching staff, the team in general, but the team responded to Jalen Hurts. And you cannot walk into this locker room and say, Carson, get back up there. Especially with Carson Wentz addressing the team for the second time. He said, guys, it's my fault. It's my fault. And then he goes out there and it continues to be his fault. Again, he didn't do nothing to really lose. But he didn't do nothing to win. He's still missing some people. He's nervous in the pocket. He's jittery. He's jumpy. He's taking sacks, getting us out of field goal range. And again, the offensive line is not good. But that's not going to change. Five guys on the offensive line, you can't change all five. But if you change the quarterback, the team played better. <laughs> it's, it's the eye test. This team rallied around number two. Is that the correct thing to do? No, you should play for whoever's behind center. But the facts are the facts. I watched the game. A little bit of this, but I watched the game. You cannot deny that Jalen Hurts gave this team a better chance to win. Last night. Is he the better overall player? You can't just say that. This is a very small sample size. Who's to say he don't come out and look really good next week or really bad? The Saints got a great defense. One of the best defenses in the league. They get at the quarterback, Cameron Jordan. Them guys are big. Malcolm Jenkins over there playing good football. He was struggling early. But we about to see Taysom Hill versus Jalen Hurts. Two what they call not legit quarterbacks, supposedly. We about to find out. We about to find out. All I can say is this. You cannot. Start Carson Wentz the following week. Is it Jalen Hurts for the rest of the year? To me, why not? You got to make sure Carson Wentz is healthy. You got to get his head right. Maybe this hurts him more when it comes to his mental problems. Not problems, but his me the mental aspect of being benched. Can he overcome that? But you need him to be healthy and you need him to just watch the game. Relax. Let someone else play. Let him see the pocket collapse on other people. What to do. How to get rid of the ball. Because Jalen Hurts was making some quick decisions. Getting the ball out of his hands faster than Carson. Like I said, Bleeding Green Nation said that Doug Peterson said that Carson was on a short leash. I didn't believe it. I thought it was clickbait. The leash was short. He got benched. He got benched. The team responded. You can't deny that. 
Real quick, shout out to Cameron Mitchell and Eagles guy who both guessed Miles Sanders rushing yards. He got 31 rushing yards on 10 attempts. Both them guessed 30. So if you're watching this video, Monday night's game is going to be the Niners versus the Bills. To break the tiebreaker between you two, let me know how many passing yards Josh Allen has. Now, if you don't watch this video before Monday night's game and only one of you respond or none of you respond, well, then we'll do something again for next week's Eagles game on top of the next $25 giveaway. But you two, let me know how many passing yards Josh Allen has. Whoever gets closest gets the $25 in your cash app. Shout out to you two guys. Like I said, Philly Mike still believes in the talent of Carson Wentz. But again, this is a very hard city to play for. Being bench for one game or a half is different. Should we play Jalen Hurts? I believe so. I believe so. What is that going to do to Carson? I don't know. It could break him more. It could make him better. But right now, deservingly, he's scared in the pocket. He deserves it. I mean, I would be scared in the pocket. Jalen Hurts didn't look scared in the pocket because he can run. And he hasn't got hit a lot. You get hit 49 times. Jalen Hurts only got hit, what, he was sacked three times still. So again, he was sacked three times. Maybe he starts second guessing if he continues to get hit at this rate. So I'm, I don't blame Carson. I understand this is not an easy setup for any quarterback to come in and play. It's not an easy setup. And I feel bad for Jalen Hurts because he got receivers who can't separate. He got an offensive line who can't block. But he still sparked the team. Can't deny that. And you got to play him. You got to. Now, I'm not going to make this video and say, we got to find a trade partner for Carson Wentz. Or just cut him. Lose the $60 million, Find a trade partner. He's 100% done in Philly. I'm done with him. I'm not going that far. But Jalen Hurts should start. <laughs> Doug Peterson should lose play calling. I vote that too. We need to see something different these last four games. Top five pick. Sounding really good. Howie can't be a part of it. There's so much more than just a quarterback. But I got to see a chain somewhere and it probably starts there. Carson Wentz needs some time. He needs to stay healthy. Whatever happens, happens in the offseason. Whether Jalen Hurts played good or bad, you got to have a quarterback con quarterback competition. Now, does that play with Carson Wentz's psyche? Maybe. He's like, I never got a he's never got a fair chance. But I mean, it is what it is. It can't change it. The facts are the facts. He's five years in the league. Had a great MVP type 2017-18 season. The team has changed. He got the short end of the stick. But it is what it is. We're going to be talking about this all week. And we're going to be doing a call-in show. So make sure you turn on post notifications. Man. Jalen Hurts. Who knows? Knowing Doug Peterson... He could easily go back to Carson Wentz. This guy doesn't make the right decision. I'm not, I don't. There, there really is no right or wrong decision. The Philadelphia Eagles still stink. We stunk with Carson Wentz. We looked better with Jalen Hurts, but we ultimately lost the game. Still with Jalen Hurts. We just stink a little less, I guess. I don't know. Let me know if you think Jalen Hurts is going to play. Do you want him to play? Let me know all your thoughts. Who should start for the Philadelphia Eagles against the New Orleans Saints? Jalen Hurts or Carson Wentz? Let me know in the comment section. Until next time, I go by Philly Mike and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. Man, this is wild. You guys know what time it is. We out. <laughs>